In order to do that, I will just create a new layer. I'm going to call this stock. I'm going to make that layer active. And then I'll change the color that I'm drawing in to a different color. And I'm going to come in here and extract the edges of this face right here. And then I'll turn the first layer off. Okay. So this is going to represent my stock. So from here, I'm going to do surface. Uh, planar. I'm just going to window that in, spacebar, spacebar, and then we'll do uh, surface, extrude surface, and I'll select this surface here, and then it's going to start extruding, and I believe this is 25 inches, so I'll add 25 in there, and there you go. All right, spacebar to lock it in spacebar to lock it in and that's going to be our solid stock okay so th from there the next thing that I need to do is I need to create um, some curves so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to extract some uh, wireframe and the wireframe is going to be utilities extract edges single and I'm going to grab uh, this face right here and then I'm going to right click OK and then I'll turn uh, this layer off and then I'm going to go to a front view. Okay, so this represents the the profile uh, of the window and uh, so I, I want to clean up the geometry here. So now we have this profile so uh, I'm going to make sure it chains so we'll shift click chains just fine. So from here what we're going to do is we're going to offset it so I'm going to do other offset right side of chain quarter inch uh, shift click spacebar and I went the wrong way left side spacebar okay so now we have our two curves here and then um, what I'm gonna do with these go back to a front view here okay is uh, I'm gonna create a new layer and then all right, let me go back to this layer I'm gonna join these up so I'm gonna join from here to here here to here then I'm going to uh, make the other layer active, and then just for fun, I'll use a different color. And then surface, planar, window pick, spacebar, spacebar, right click, oh, just for good measure. All right, so now we have these two curves here. So what I'm going to do is uh, go back to my brown line join, join from here to here, join from there to there, join from here to here, join from there. To there and then uh, what I want to do is just a uh, surface planar one two three four and right here I might be getting the surface edges as well so let me cancel surface planar and then I, I have my uh, let me get this one out of the way here I have my selection mask so what I'm gonna do is check everything off and only turn on lines and I'll grab these lines here spacebar spacebar Right, so now, so now um, what I want to do from here is I want to check my surface normals because multi-axis pass, the surface normal is really important. So we'll go view, surface normal, and uh, we can see this one is pointing up, this one's pointing up, but these two are not pointing the right way. So what I need to do is reverse this surface normal here. So I go to Utilities, Reverse Surface Normal, I'll select on this surface, and now they're both facing the same way. So then I can t turn my viewing of surface normals off. All right, so now, after all of that work, I don't think we need anything else to prep this. We should be good. So let's turn our stock on and turn these off. Uh, from here, we're going to get into the cam, new job. This is going to be a four axis test router. That's the name of the machine that I have with the rotary axis on the head. Uh, stock wizard is going to be a solid model stock. Next, pick my solid, uh, select it, right click OK. Next, and then my origin, and I believe I want my origin right there, okay? So that is my origin uh, on the center of this part. I, I really could have it anywhere, but that's the example that I have here. Okay, so now I can turn off my solid and uh, 
Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blank out my stock as well. So I'll blank that out. And what do we got here? All right, so here's my surfaces. So I'm going to load in a multi-axis routine. Um, this routine is going to be a surface routine. It is morphed between two curves, so I'm glad I didn't delete my curves. So I'll just next this. Uh, pick my tool. A uh, quarter inch cutter, that's fine. Uh, parameters, first curve, so I'm going to go back to my wireframe layer. And uh, eh, let me cancel for a second. Let me finish. I'm just going to delete these connecting lines here because I don't need those. All right. Then I'll go back in and uh, you can go through the wizard where I should be able to um, just select that of the tree here. Uh, Let's see, it didn't trim. Hold on a second. Ah, we got these double entities, this blue stuff up here. So let me select that, delete it. Okay. Let me make sure that it chains. Shift, shift. Okay, shift click, shift click. Okay, first upper, shift click spacebar. Second lower, shift click spacebar. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and edit our feature. So we have our first curve, second curve, drive surfaces. Let's go ahead and turn those layers on. Select all, okay. All right. All of this is fine. I wanna do, uh, there's sharp corners, so I'm gonna round my corners and I'll put a uh, 60 thou radius in the corner. Um, full cuts, we're gonna do, determine number of cuts. Number of cuts is gonna be one. Okay, tool, tool axis control is going to be four axis. Rotary axis is on the Y. Tilted relative to cutting direction. Side tilt is 90. Uh, gouge check. I'm not going to use any gouge checking uh, link. I'm going to go to retracts. I'm going to do uh, cylinder. Direction of axis is Y. Radius, I'm going to say. 20 is fine. Okay, and one of the other really neat thing, well, let me show you that in just a second. Let me compute this, and this will generate my my tool path here. So let me uh, turn off my layers, and you can see my tool path, and then let me bring up my stock. Now, what you're going to notice is that uh, I just created a quarter inch offset for those profiles so the tool is just barely cutting uh, into the surface but if I want to adjust that we have this neat little feature here it's under utility and constant for each contour we're gonna say minus a quarter inch and we're gonna recompute and then that will drop that profile in a quarter inch beautifully uh, we might need to have it go a little bit deeper to clear these little tongues here. So let's edit that again. Utilities, minus 0.375. Compute it. And lovely, 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 lovely. Okay. So the last thing we would need to do is uh, for simulation, we would edit our work offset. So I'll make this like 25 just so it's above the table and then we can run our simulation. So hopefully, uh, oh, another really great point. This machine is not set up. It's not the actual machine that we're using. And this machine has, uh, uh, its definition. It's been defined. So it has, uh, it's um, travels, defined rotation values, and everything else. So a, another option that you have in order to run this through the simulation is you can go to your multi-axis posting. You can uncheck use machine settings, and I'm going to turn the limits off. And this will allow me to run it through a simulation and see what's going on. Now, obviously, if you're going to run this on your machine, you would want your machine to... Uh, do I need to recompute? I didn't think I did. Let's try that again. Let's just check it. Edit, multi-axis posting, no limits, finish. Let's see if it yells at us. Third axis. Hmm. Um, I didn't think that that would be an effect, but I learned something new every day. Okay, so the Z 
the Z, it, it wasn't fitting in Z, but that's fine. Uh, it probably had to do with my clearance, because I had a, a really large clearance up here, so it, it wasn't fitting. But anyways, okay, so we, uh, uh, multi-axis posting you can turn off, that would help with the uh, axis uh, overrides on the multi-axis. This was a clearance issue, so I just had to adjust my work offset. Let's turn this off, let's turn that off, let's turn that to that and uh, let's take a look at what we got very good clear through all the way around um, there you go if there's any questions about this video or this workflow please reply back to the thread or the YouTube or Facebook page otherwise again this is Al with Bobcad and uh, we'll talk to you later thanks a lot bye